absolute gorgeous day. We got some baits tied up. Gavin's got the candy craw. I have the slug rig, a leech, and a dragon tail. Today's gonna be beautiful. So Gavin and I made down to Marina Del Rey. The wind is up. There's a six foot tide. We're fishing the incoming tide, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a pretty big swing. It's gonna be enjoyable. Thursday is going to be a lot of fun. We're fishing Marina Del Rey. We're going to be pitching pylons, fishing open slips, probably throwing the crankbait, doing some A-rig fishing. We'll see what happens. Whatever the conditions are down there, we'll adjust. But pretty excited for it. In the meantime, I'm going to be pouring up some slugs. I've run out of slugs in my personal stash, but I'm also pouring a handful of slugs for orders, which is convenient because now I can use those colors to fill my tackle box. All right, for the sake of time, I'm probably going to cut to a montage of me just whipping up baits. Uh, like I said, I'm going to pour up a bunch of slugs because I want to test them out tomorrow. We have a bunch of different baits right here. Uh, camera can probably see them, but tomorrow I'm going to do a big reveal. Not, I guess not really a reveal, but I'm going to show you what I made. And then, like I said, we're going to fish them tomorrow. It's going to be a lot of fun. The nice ghost smelt. Great laminate. Nice transition from the belly to the top color. These are going to be absolute pylon killers. I wanted to display these guys because these are going to be the Dolan Bates swim jig that are my logo colors. So we also got a little bit of pearl flake in the clear coat. So that head shines like a diamond. I actually got so excited that I tied a doll and Bates jig off camera just to show you guys. Got two different chartreuse patterns. Kind of see the blotchy black on that one, striped black on that green. But <clears throat> you got the black to fill out the body and a little bit of white as an accent. You got the black head, green belly, white eyes with the pearl. That's going to be an absolute killer. Just got to add a weed guard, but pretty excited about this one. I just made it to Marina Del Rey. I got a bag of baits and I'm ready to fish. We have an absolute beautiful day. The sun is up. It's a little bit windy right now, but we'll do our best. 
pray for the rest. Gavin Volpe's charters out of Marina Del Rey. Uh, we are doing illegal six packs, so book now. There we go, first fish. Little spotty -licious. little spotty. First spotty on the board, on the crankbait. Haven't been in the water too long, which is nice. We can do it all. I'm I'm game for whatever. I do like how there's a little bit of breeze drifting us along the wall. We can go back to it unless you want to start up there and then just start hucking baits at it. Start up over here. Yeah, and start hucking baits at it. Get us a little closer. A little closer, doggy dog. A little closer, daddy dog. Of course my drag is so loose, dude. Oh <laughs> we just got bit. We just got bit. There you go. Oh that's why it's on one percent. Go fast! One percent, I gotta change the battery. We finally landed a fish. Pretty excited about it. I gotta change the battery on this. Oop. Hey, fish hit the deck. Oh, that's devastating. Took the wrong one. Well, no, you broke the clip. Oh, that was a good one, too. Now the story, do whatever you want. Man, our odds aren't the best. Dude, how many halibit have you lost today? <laughs> so, Gavin's already lost six halibut. I think we've lost, what, four? No, you actually got one. We got one fish on the boat. Yeah. I and then today too. Okay, so we have two spotties on the boat, but we're also um like four bites down. Yeah. That first bite I got, my drag wasn't set. Um then the second bite I got was an absolute beast. Broke the clip. And then Gavin Gavin got one bite on the candy craw, and then he just farmed one on the candy craw as well. Oh, that was the, that was my red. That's the first time some uh, anything has bit on the red, my red slug. I know, but I mean, for this A-Rig, I've been fishing this one for a while and nothing's been, nothing's bit on the red. And the first bite on the red, clip breaks. Can't wait to end this video. Well, we suck. Yeah. We got 40 bites today uh, and landed zero fish. <laughs> Actually filming this time. <laughs> nice, Gavin with his third right now. He's got two on the candy craw. Choked it. On that choke him baits head. Solid, solid work. It's 
now the hook doesn't want to come out. Yeah. We've had the hardest time hooking fish today. Little guy. Later, homie. All right, number three on that boat. We've missed numerous a fish today. Oh, I don't know how you did that on eight pound test. There we go. Number four on the board. Gavin is absolutely smoking me right now. Later, buddy. A little good luck, you know? There he goes. You! Oh, there we go. There we go. Yo, this is a good one, too. No, I'm good. That's a solid spotty. Whew. He's a crump. Dude, finally hooked one. That stuck. That's a solid 14. Big spotty. Love you, dude. As you saw in the videos, we, uh, Gavin and I, missed a handful of fish. The hot ticket was the candy craw on that chokum head, one fourth ounce uh, ball jig head that chokum baits makes. He, uh, Gavin missed about four or five fish, but also hooked into another, I want to say three or four, just using the candy craw and the choke em head. Seems like the spotted bay bass are dialing in on a few smaller items, smaller baits and profiles in general. However, I did lose three good fish on the A-Rig that I have my slugs on. So I fill it up with the four inch slugs and uh, I missed two spotted bay bass and then I got a halibut up missed that so that was a bummer but the one fish or the one spotty that I actually did get was on the candy craw as well I was uh, drop shotting that right next to a pylon made it dance spotty just hit it that was a lot of fun that's going to end it for this episode. I'm pretty excited to jump into the next one. I have a good idea of what I want to do. It's going to be a lot of lead work. If you liked what you saw, like, subscribe, drop a comment down. Comment what you want to see. I love talking about fish, fishing in general. Uh, I'm more than happy to try out different things, and that way you don't have to. But yeah, like and subscribe, drop a comment. I'll catch you on the next video.